Hello, Jessica with the Tillamook County Library Bookmobile here again for another story time. Today, we're going to read about dragons. This one is called Dragon Was Terrible. Written by Kelly De Pacito and pictures by Greg Pizzoli. Dragon Was Terrible. Dragon Was Terrible. Naturally, dragons have a bit of terrible in them because they're dragons after all. But this dragon here, super terrible. He stomped on flowers, he played tricks on the guards, and he spit on cupcakes. Who does that? The dragon, that's who. He not, that's not all. He scribbled in books and threw sand, and he took candy from baby unicorns. Honestly, that's terrible. The king had had enough. Enough, he said, and he posted the sign. Brave knights, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift. It shall be a nice gift. Ye shall like it. His royal majesty, the king. Dragon was, dragon was here. Knights lined up to show off their dragon taming skills. They all failed miserably, and dragon just grew more terrible. He chased fuzzy yellow ducklings around the moat. He teepeed the castle, and he burned every last royal marshmallow to a blackened crisp. The villagers had had enough. Enough, they said, and they posted this sign. Brave people, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift from the king. It shall be a nice gift, we hope. Ye shall like it, perhaps. His royal majesty, the king. And look, dragon marked it twice. Dragon was here again, it says. Ordinary blokes and lasses lined up to try their hand at taming the dragon. They all failed, embarrassingly so. And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon grew even more terrible. He popped the birthday balloons, he drew funny faces on the drawbridge, and he burped in church loudly. Honestly, that's terrible and rude. A boy wearing a feathered cap and a boy wearing a feathered cap and a look of determination had had enough. Only he didn't say enough, like you thought he would. Instead, he sketched a story. The next day, Dragon followed a trail of marshmallows to a shady tree where the boy was reading. The boy spied the dragon out of the corner of his eye, and he began to read aloud in a booming voice. And then the brave dragon swooped in and saved the princess, he said. Dragon stopped in his tracks. But the terrible knight pulled out his wicked sword. The dragon pretended not to listen. The brave dragon roared, and the frady cat knight trembled in his boots. The dragon pretended to walk away. A crowd began to gather, and dragon took cover in a tree. The boy continued reading page after page after page, until snap, crash. Dragon landed on the ground with a terrible thud. The crowd gasped. The dragon roared. The clever boy didn't flinch. He reached out a hand to the dragon and said, Would you like to hear how the story ends? And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon smiled, and he took a seat beneath the tree with the other children. Honestly, that's adorable. The king cheered, the villagers cheered, the baby unicorns of buzzing, ducklings cheered, loudest of all. At long last, the terrible dragon had been tamed. The end. Hey, wait, what about the reward? Oh, yes, that. The gift was a new friend, a nice dragon, of course. The end. Wasn't that a silly story? Our next story is called, If I Had a Dragon. Written and illustrated by Tom and Amanda Ellery. 
if I had a dragon. Morton, play with your brother. I don't want to play with my brother. He's too little. I wish he would turn into something fun. Like a new kite. Or a bulldozer. Or a dragon. If I had a dragon, I would be so happy. We could go for walks. Hmm. Martin, come home. Are they going for a walk? I think the dragon's flying them off. We could play basketball. Your dinner is ready. Oh. He's blocking the hoop. Go for a swim? Do you think they could do that? Ouch. Uh-oh. Did he jump in the pool? He hit the dragon. The pool is completely full. Play hide and seek. 28, 29, 30. Ready or not, here I come. Is he hiding very well? No, he's too big. A movie? Hmm, is that working out well? He's covering the screen. A whistle? Ooh. Uh-oh. What happened there? Did the hair get burned? Maybe not whistling. I guess the dragon doesn't make a very good playmate after all. Hmm. Look, he runs all the way home. And look, who's he playing with? His brother. The end. So do you think he'd very, be very happy if he had a dragon? Doesn't seem like it. The next story is called Old MacDonald Had a Dragon by Ken Baker, illustrated by Christopher Santoro. Are you ready? Old MacDonald Had a Dragon. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O, and on that farm he had a dragon, E I E I. Not so fast, rude the cow. As it moseyed up to the farmhouse, I've got a beef with you. Dragons don't belong on farms, the cow said. It's my farm, said old MacDonald. I, have, I can have a dragon if I want one. Either the dragon moves out or this moo moves on. Move the cow. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon swooped out of the sky, gulped down the cow, and swallowed it whole. Delightful dairy, said the dragon with a lick of its lips and a flash of fire. It whipped its wings and flew away. The farmer frowned. Hmm, too bad, he said. I'll miss that cow, even if it was a bit bullheaded. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and a wait one mud stinking minute, oink the pig. As long as there's a dragon on this farm, there'll be no more oink oink here or oink oink there. Adios, this hog is hitting the road. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon swooped out of the sky, gulped down the pig, and swallowed it whole. Savory swine, said the dragon with a lick of its lips and a flash of fire. It flipped its wings and flew away. Kind of. The farmer wrinkled his nose and frowned. Hmm. Good riddance. That stinky sow always smelled of trouble. Besides, I really like my dragon. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a sheep. A ram charged up the steps and butted Old MacDonald right out of his chair. You, can put, you can't pull the wool over our eyes, bobbed their old ram. You get rid of that dragon or you can kiss your wool socks goodbye. Faster than the farmer could sing, E-I-E-I-O. The dragon flopped out of the sky, gulped down the ram and the whole farmyard of sheep, and swallowed them whole. Marvelous mutton, said the dragon with a lick of its lips and a flash of fire. He wilted his wings and waddled away. The farmer folded his arms across his chest and frowned. Hmm, I'm not so sure that dragon is a good idea after all, he said. I might eat those sheep in their woolly socks to keep my feet warm at night. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a dog, 
keep you out of your two-bit tune, barked the dog. I saw what happened to the cow. I saw what happened to the pig. I saw what happened to the sheep. I don't want to be dragon feed. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon dragged itself across the yard, gulped down the dog, and swallowed it whole. Delectable doggy, said the dragon with a lick of its lip, a flash of fire, it folded its wings and flopped down and fell asleep. How big that dragon had gotten. The farmer jumped up off the porch, stormed across the yard. Now wait one dog on a minute, he said, kicking the dragon in the snout. Give me back my Roscoe. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon stood, gulped down the farmer, and swallowed him whole. Inside the dragon, the farmer scratched his head and smiled. Old MacDonald had a dragon, E-I-E-I-O. And in that dragon, he had a cow, a pig, a ram, some sheep, and a dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo oink ba wolf here, and a moo oink ba wolf there. Here a moo oink ba wolf. Burp. The farmer and all the animals shot out of the dragon's mouth and tumbled onto the ground in a slimy heap. Terrible tummy ache, howled the dragon. With a frown on its lips and one last belch of fire, it whipped its wings and blew up and away for good. The farmer smiled, plucked his guitar, and sang, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on the farm he had a cow, egg, sheep, dog, E-I-E-I-O. The end. Dragons are mighty silly, aren't they? Sometimes we think of them as evil, but really, they're just silly creatures. Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely day.